Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have some Minecraft news to share with you, and of course it relates to Minecraft 1.9, the next update coming out for Minecraft PC, and coming at some point later to Minecraft console, and the reason it's also exciting is because we have some big announcements, as well as a little bit of a hint, but big announcements which actually change the update to make it the combat update I've been looking for, and I know a lot of you have been looking for in this update. So I'll be sharing all of that in today's video, but first of all I'd very much appreciate a like on the video if you do like it, it helps out the channel a lot, and lets me know you want to see more Minecraft. 1.9 news, but let's get straight into the video already, shall we? With the first piece of news, which is actually the uh, only one which can be considered a hint, because um, Dinnerbone gives this kind of funny tweet here, uh, tweeting at one of the Pocket Edition developers, saying, what is the biggest boat currently in service? And at what point does a boat become a ship? Uh, and then hashtag Mojang Leaks. And of course, if you look at this uh, first of all, you're like, what, what, what is he even saying there? But basically, if you don't know, the Pocket Edition has bigger boats than the PC version does right now, and this is kind of a hint that he's looking to improve the size of those boats, but also maybe even go bigger than that, because obviously the Pocket Edition boats isn't really ship size, but maybe, you know, the PC version can have the PC types of boats, the Pocket Edition boats, and maybe a boat size even bigger. Maybe this would be called a ship, and uh, if you're wondering what a real life ship is actually defined by, I think it has to be a certain, you know, tonnage, and it has to also have lifeboats. So I don't imagine we're actually going to get real life ships, because that'd be like a 50 by 50 block. However, I think a bigger boat is something that is strongly hinted at here, or at least changes to the boat system in general, and it's kind of a funny way to announce it, in my opinion, just indirectly tweet one of the other developers of the game. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, the first piece of news here. Moving on to the second piece. Uh, again, we've got to go quite fast through this because we've got lots of news to share. Uh, the second piece is again from Dinnerbone. Almost all news seems to come from him these days. Uh, and basically, uh, he tweets out saying that Player Collision will be returning to Minecraft. This is big. Uh, it hasn't been in the game for many, many updates now because, you know, it was it, it was a far back feature that they decided to remove because it annoyed a lot of people. But they're deciding to bring it back. And with uh, that, to kind of announce it, we have this GIF just showing off that, as you can see, that's Alex that's being moved by Dinnerburn right here. So you can actually move other players at, off the Minecraft 1.9 update. Whether that makes it to the full release or whether they decide to cut it in the end is still something that could happen. However, it's one of those features that, you know, they seem kind of excited about and it fits into the whole combat update theme because right now in combat, you know, you can get inside each other and get really confusing and stuff like that. If you have, you know, collision, there might be some skill to try and kind of nudging them forwards as you hit them and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's one of those big exciting changes that could do some pretty cool things. I know a lot of you like a player collision. To me, it's just one of those things where it's like kind of nice and uh, yeah that's kind of cool there so this also if you don't know indirectly confirms mob collision because that also used to be a thing so in theory in 1.9 when you run through your pig farm not only can you push the pigs the pigs will probably be able to push you back which would be pretty funny uh, that is one of the OG features of the game and to bring it back would be kind of nice in my opinion I don't know where I fall on this issue I don't know if I like it too much but I think if it helps out combat it's something worth doing because you know combat and Minecraft needs a lot, a lot of tweaking and this is one of those changes I, I fully support it I'd like to know what you think though but let's get into the next piece of news which uh, again from dinner button because he's talking about how lots of people wanted to, to make player collision and all these other things options however he says that for every feature we'd make an option we'd exponentially create more work developing and testing every option with and against every other option so that's why we didn't make things an option just because people don't like it so basically he's saying that you won't have the option for most things like this because they could make the new combat system an option. They could make, you know, player collision an option. But bug testing all of that, basically he's saying, would take so much effort. And it wouldn't really provide too much. Because most people learn to love something after they give it a little bit of a try. Or at least learn to live with it. So, yeah, for the most part, these things won't be options in the game. Uh, which is kind of an interesting little thing right there. But I just thought it was worth pointing out. Because so many people were saying, just leave it as an option. And everyone's happy. But unfortunately, that is not a correct uh, solution for things. So, next up, we have uh, again Dinner Bone. This is the last piece of Dinner Bone news. But it is kind of a cool one. Because he says, oh no, I've had a terrible accident and this was just yesterday and um, then of course uh, tweets out this image alongside it in case uh, you can't work out what's happening there. On the left you can see he's hooked a player and on the right you can see the players generally hooked. So what this seems to indicate to me is because right now a lot of people think that in the base game Minecraft you can actually uh, throw snowballs, eggs and fishing rods in 12 players and it will actually hook them. However it doesn't actually work. It's actually a plugin that most servers use so when you do PvP you're usually on a server which has that plugin. So this seems to be an indication that he wants to put that in the base game which is something kind of cool because, you know, there's this inconsistency between what most people think the game does and what it actually does. So if, player, you know, fishing rods, snowballs and eggs actually hit other players and knock them back, that could be something that's actually quite interesting. So, uh, yeah, that's just what's kind of hinted here. It could be something else entirely, but it's a very confusing screenshot. 
Again, I'd like to know what you think about this, but it seems to be confirming that fishing rods, eggs, snowballs will do knockback in the base version of the game, which would be really cool because, especially in the console version, we don't have the plugin to make that happen. So it's like, oh, I guess, I guess we just can't do that. So if that becomes part of the base game, that'd be very good all round just for everyone. And uh, I'm looking forward to the whole thing. So next up, we have some news from Jeb. So Jeb was really cool about this whole thing because he just decided to, uh, like, because he wanted to change the armor system. He decided to post on Reddit first and talk about the new system they want to put in and kind of get feedback about it which is a really cool way to do something like this uh, because it is a massive change to the game because right now uh, i'll put some of the things on screen but basically armor is too powerful in the current game it's it's one of the like i, I mentioned in videos before but having a good sword or having good armor really isn't a question it's always good armor because even just diamond armor no enchantments it, it you know it, qu it quintuples times is by five the amount of damage you can actually take before you die that's a real problem because if you die in like you know 10 20 hits you just feel invincible and it doesn't even feel too fun at that point especially Especially not for the player of a diamond sword hitting you 20 times. So they're going to be changing the system uh, to basically make it so instead of uh, getting 4% uh, four, 4 armor reduction based on each armor level, you're going to get 3.3% roughly. It, it works kind of funnily if you want to know the calculations, I'll let you know. But basically each level of armor is going to become slightly weaker. So instead of the max protection being 80%, the max protection is going to be 66%, meaning instead of being able to take 5 times as many hits, you can take 3 times as many hits. And also they're going to change the system a little bit. So basically in the new system, uh, someone who doesn't have armor isn't going to be entirely destroyed against someone who has armor it's going to be more of a fair fight armor's still going to be pretty strong because two to three times damage reduction is still a really big deal like uh it means that you'll you'll still lose someone with a better weapon than you but you if you have the same weapon you're still going to win 80 90 percent of fights if you can't if like assuming they you know can't actually keep outskilling you so yeah it's going to be really really interesting and the big thing to me that he noticed uh, or noted was actually to have enchantments because right now protection and sharpness are so vital to pvp they're very very powerful and it means that if you you have protection for armor on all of your diamond armor it means you take 96 percent reduced damage that means you can take so many pieces of damage and it just does nothing to you and it means you have to have sharpness just to counter you know protection and it's an arms race that really benefits no one because it means if you don't have uh, you know enchantments then you can't compete in the pvp and that's just not fun for anyone so basically they're going to be nerfing both sharpness and protection sharpness goes from being 1.25 2.50 etc damage to being 1.0 1.5 to 2.5 so it's maximum uh, you know sharpness 5 is going down from 5 extra damage on top of the 7 from your sword I think it is up to 2.5 on top of your sword so it's a nice bonus but it's not going to be required and the same is going to go for protection it's going to give you an extra bit of uh, boost if you put on all your armor, but it's not going to be an extra boost that just, you know, destroys everyone else. And, uh, you know, they're also going to be playing around with strength and resistance effects to try and make sure everything is balanced. But all in all, everything looks kind of exciting here. They're making a lot of big changes to the game, whether it be player collision, whether it be fixing the armor system so you can actually have fun in the game, or whether it be, uh, you know, just uh, considering putting ships in the game. This next update really is shaping out to be pretty cool. We don't know when it's coming out, but the, clearly the amount of development they're doing is going to be, uh, you know, kind of uh, a big deal. And also, I think we're coming up to a year without an update for Minecraft PC. So this is going to be a big one, might be the biggest update yet. Who knows? Uh, we're still going through the processes. But uh, just as a final bit of news that came out as I was calling this video, T29 has been confirmed to be a bug fix for Minecraft console, uh, just in case you do care about that. So so thank you all for watching the video, uh, like it if you did like it, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you want to be around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.